High School Musical first aired on the Disney Channel in 2006, only to become one of the most loved movies by Disney fans everywhere. It quickly grew into one of the most watched Disney Channel original movies, and after the last movie aired, fans would not stop demanding for the production of a High School Musical 4. The good news is that Disney has confirmed that we will definitely be getting a reboot of the original musical, and after all these years, it'll be in the form of a High School Musical, the musical series. Not only did fans everywhere get exactly what they were asking for, but they now get to enjoy the show multiple times through episodes to come. While this is some pretty awesome news, it leaves us wondering if our favorite Wildcats are going to be making it back to the halls of East High. One of the stars has already tweeted that he is totally down for a remake. However, you're going to have to keep on watching to find out who. I know you High School Musical fans have been waiting forever for some details, so let's get started. Oh honey, if that's what you call an invitation, you'll be dancing with yourself. Unlike the original, the new High School Musical movie is going to be in the form of a television series. The series will premiere on Disney's very own version of Netflix. This new and highly anticipated branch of Disney Media is set to be available to its users sometime soon in 2019. Disney fans already know that this is going to be one of the most epic years yet for all things Disney. The TV series is actually going to be called High School Musical. The musical. But we kind of already know that it's going to be a musical. So that makes me wonder what exactly the creators were thinking with that title. Now it's all going to make sense once I tell you what the plot of the movie is going to look like. In the original trilogy, we get to see our favorite lovebirds, Troy and Gabriella, go through the ups and downs of high school love. Some critics have even compared their story to the modern day version of Romeo and Juliet. Troy was the captain of Eastside's basketball team, and Gabriella only a new transfer student with a knack for science and mathematics. Together they auditioned for their high school musical and landing both leads despite all the peer pressure around them. The two go on to inspire the entire student body to not stick to the status quo and instead just learn to be themselves. As for the plot, according to Seventeen Magazine, it is going to be revolving around singing high schoolers. Seriously though, their name is pretty clever, since we will be seeing a new batch of East High Wildcats taking on their theater winter production. Just like the original though, the series is going to feature some major drama on and off the stage. As of what we know right now, the series is going to be in 10 different episodes in a docu-series style. Now this means that we will probably see the lives of these Wildcats unfold through one of the characters' perspective, or maybe even a film student's camera. Lens. It looks like one of the lead roles for the upcoming series has already been cast. In the month of October 2018, Disney announced that it had found its new High School Musical star and it is none other than Joshua Bassett. Bassett will be playing the role of character Ricky. Ricky is the male star of the series and is described as a cynical sweetheart to the lead female role, Nini. Just like our original heartthrob, Troy Bolton, Ricky gets broken up with and spends most of his time trying to win back his girlfriend. Auditioning for his school's production of High School Musical and hoping that him and Nini will both get cast as leads. According to Gary Marsh, who is the president and chief creative officer at Disney Channel Worldwide, Joshua's interpretation of character Ricky was winning, funny, and vulnerable at the same time. He even mentioned that fans everywhere are going to love watching him put his stamp on the next High School Musical series franchise. Now I can totally believe that because Bassett himself did mention that he was a big fan of the movies growing up. We'll call it senior year. Genius. Well, I can't tell you for sure if Zac Efron, now 31 years old, or Vanessa Hudgens, now 30, will make a comeback as teenagers in love. There is still a possibility that we might see them guest star as their characters back on the show. What I can tell you for sure is that we have five brand new characters, aside from Ricky and Nini, who will be showing their faces in the upcoming series. Be sure to let me know who you think these new characters will be replacing, since I have definitely found some similarities between the old and new set of characters. Our first of the five is a character that Ricky is not too happy about. EJ is a wildcat who soon becomes Nini's new love interest once her and Ricky break up. He is a very ambitious student who is used to getting what he wants and not letting anybody get in his way. According to Disney, EJ was voted most likely to report a student for cheating on a test. Next character up is Ashlyn, an outspoken new student who works very hard to find her place among her peers. She is EJ's cousin and even an aspiring songwriter. She was voted by her class as most likely to read your poem, telling me that she is very into astronomy and horoscopes. Just like Troy, Ricky has a best friend of his own and his name is Big Red. Instead of being under the spotlight and on stage, Big Red likes to help the musical by joining the backstage crew. Here's a plot twist for you guys, he is only doing this to get closer to Nini, who we already said was Ricky's girlfriend. And as for Big Red's yearbook description, he was voted most likely to believe in aliens, bruh. For our 
our third new character, we've got Gina, the self-proclaimed princess. She gets cast as the understudy of the musical, which does not sit well with her. Throughout the storyline, she is able to get some Instagram videos of herself to go viral, making Nini pretty nervous about her role as lead. Gina was voted by her class as most likely to push you down a flight of stairs. Yikes. And finally, for the last character we can expect to see, as of now, is Vikram. Vikram is the musical's choreographer. He is best friends with the drama teacher and a Starbucks addict. But I know where it ends. Center stage. As of today, we haven't gotten much news of the original cast trying to join the television series, except for one, of course. This TV dad made it Instagram official and even tagged some official Disney pages in his post saying that he would be totally down for a high school musical reboot. Let's give a little shout out to Coach Bolton himself for sharing our enthusiasm. The best part of this story is that he even suggested the spin-off feature himself and Mrs. Darvis with a dance-off between the East High Wildcats and the West High Knights. For those of you that are curious, the reason he is suggesting this is because there was actually a dance-off originally said to be between him and Miss Darvis that got edited out of the original movie. He said it resembled the anything you can do, I can do better kind of song from Annie. I don't know what the Disney creators were thinking because that actually would have been pretty awesome to see. And we have reached the end of our video guys. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and spread the things love in the community section and comment section below. It's your host Noor and I'll see you in our next video.